it's it's bad. It's real bad. Uh, Hello everybody and welcome back to another airing of Grievances. I'm Eric Raymer. This is Robert Grieve. It's very nice to have you along. Now, if this is your first time ever visiting, we want to say thank you. We appreciate you for taking the time to join us for our day. If you wouldn't mind, we'd love it if you'd give us the thumbs up. If you see something that you like and would appreciate sharing this content with anyone that uh, drives a car. I mean, this is really what this is all about. Secondarily, if you are a regular here, we like to call you family. We truly appreciate your presence. And of course, every uh, Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. here in the Mountain Standard Time, we produce a new video and we encourage you to join us for the premiere on Saturday morning at that time where you can chat between Rob and I. We're always present, always willing to chat during that first presentation of the video. If you're getting here after the Saturday morning at 9.30, just leave us a comment. Let us know where you're coming from and uh, what your opinions are about the topics that we're addressing. We appreciate all of that. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button, do that as well. And the notification bell, that lets you know when we are producing another video. Rob, happy Saturday to you. Happy Saturday to you. And as and always. to you. All right. Uh, for tuning in. Man, there's a lot in the news this week. And... Uh, we had to do rock, paper, scissors to figure out which topic we want to talk about today. And this is the one that uh, came to the surface. Um, it's shocking. <laughs> you know, there's always been, uh, we, we like to tell the truth here. We tell the truth uh, through the perspective of how does it impact you, the consumer, the driver. This is not an industry piece, although the industry is well involved in this uh, thing. But again, uh, hats off to uh, Dave. Dave Lachance over at Repair Driven News. I'll leave a link here uh, as well as uh, down below in the description box for Repair Driven News. Great resource for anyone who is interested in the automotive industry. Um, but in this particular case, uh, the headline is Allstate looks to mitigate repair costs through agreements and they expect little pushback on auto insurance rate increases. Yep, we're going to raise the rates again. And this is all based on a uh, Q4 earnings call. Uh, a Q4 of last year? I'm guessing it says 2021. Uh, during a Q4 in earnings call. Yeah, that, so, would have, that would have been just couple months ago yep mm -hmm. uh, it's it's uh, it's hard to believe that this is even in print yes uh, it's this so first sentence is as all state raises rates to cope with rising auto insurance costs it will be looking to mitigate repair costs lessen right you know just get it less for them through its partnerships with repair shops and parts suppliers, right. a company uh, executive told investors during the, the Q4. Okay, so let me see if I understand this correctly. I'm going to try to summarize in, in uh, plain speak. Um, we're going to raise the rates and lower our expenses at your expense. Yeah. Because we're going to do this with partners. We call that a DRP program. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we've got lots of videos that talk about this relationship that insurers have with some, uh, an overwhelming majority of body shops in America, not Nylons. Nope. Never Nylons. But uh, it, it raises the issue that they're going to raise your rates, lower their costs, which only serves one side of the equation as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Well, uh, the other side of the equation is the shareholders. Okay. Well, yeah, there's that too. Uh, so maybe if you have a policy, you'd be better off to have their stock as well. Maybe it'd even out. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah. So they're going to... And the reason they're doing this, there, there's a couple of different reasons they cite in here. 
uh, one, you know, is inflationary. Repairs are costing more. Okay, I get that. And, uh, you know, they just... They don't want to pay more. But the, the interesting thing is they're going to raise rates. Right. They're going to lessen. I don't see how it could be anything other than lessen the quality of the repair. Because if you're paying people less to repair the car, that you're charging the people that own the car more to insure it. Right. How, how could that possibly work out for the consumer? Well, and inflation... Is it is no respecter of persons. Inflation, true inflation, affects every element of the supply chain, up and down, all the way. However, we did a story on the fact that uh, insurers have increased their rates. I think all states' rates went up by seven percent. Something like that. Uh, in in the last quarter. And now we're going to increase that again on top of that in some cases. And, you know, body shops are feeling the inflation as well. You know, every single bill that we have here is going up. I mean, just like at the house, we're seeing our heat and electric bills yeah. go up. Well, this takes a whole lot more energy than a house. Yes. And those bills are going up. The, the, the supplies that we're using are going through the roof. The paints are just getting double-digit increases on them. But the insurers them. want to pay you less. Yeah. The insurers recognize the inflation yeah. for them, but not for anybody else. Right. I think that's, that's a very, very, very interesting uh, point. So, and, and if you're not sure if it's a DRP shop or a relationship with Allstate... If they give you a list of places to go, do not go to those places. Those are their partners. Those are the partners mm -hmm. that are going to be getting beaten up to lower their costs to fix cars. And uh, it, it's bad for you. That's all I want to tell you. It's bad for you. Yeah. Um, so they, you know, they get into all sorts of other stuff in here, which is, you know... You know, it's using AI and 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 claims modeling. Uh, it's interesting. They're using claims modeling, like so. Take a uh, a three D of the impact, and now they're going to be bringing bodily injury into that also, right? And saying, well, this is a three D of the impact and damage. Uh, it couldn't possibly have caused these injuries, right? And now you got to prove that it did. It's just, it's it's bad. It's real bad. Uh, this is interesting. They're also admitting that frequency. So frequency is how often accidents happen. Sure. How many accidents are happening? Yep. So frequency rose in the fourth quarter of 2021. Yep. By 21 percent. Uh. For them, that's that's bad. Sure. Okay. Because they have to pay more claims. Right. But it's still down compared to 19, 2019, by 13 percent. Right. Hmm. We skip over that part. Hmm. Uh, and I wonder how many rate increases there have been between since 2019, 20, 22, 2021, 2020, and 2019. Yeah. So while the the uh, the frequency the, the frequency is, down. is 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 down. The severity is up. Right. Severity is how much does it cost to fix the car? Sure. And uh, so this is what the gentleman says. I'm assuming it's a gentleman. Yes, he is. So uh, he says higher used car values. So that would be if your car's totaled. You know, that's that's where that's going to play in. Because uh, it's going to cost more to replace it. Right. Right. So, higher used car values and rising OEM parts and labor rates in 2021 have resulted in a in higher severities and coverages like collision and property damage. So, uh, I think we missed one little piece there, and that is the fact that there was an accident that took place to begin with. Right. The accident 
is what is creating yeah. the need for these things. It's people <laughs> driving faster and more recklessly where the collisions are more severe, which ends up costing. But we, we, we skip over that part. Yeah, yeah. It's only about the uh, OEM parts and labor rates. Right. And the, uh, the value of the cars, uh, used cars being more valued higher these days. Yeah. So uh, if you have an insurance company that is, look, it, it's a business. Sure. It's a business. Uh, and they, like any other business, need to make profit to survive. I, I don't take that away. Nobody faults them for that. Um, and... You know, I seem to remember that they laid off a few thousand, a few thousand employees not that long ago. Uh, yes. You would think they would have saved some money with that. Additionally, it takes quite a long time to get a uh, estimate and a supplement. The supplement is when, after we disassemble the vehicle, take a look at what they wrote, add on to it what it really needs, send that back up to them, and it can be up to a month to get back half of what we said it needed right uh and then you start the process all over again yeah and you have to wait again and these and, delays and they're eating up your rental yeah, they're, yeah these delays are affecting you directly in the pocketbook because they're eating up your rental as well as not resolving the real issue the car needs to either be repaired or go away yeah just so you know that uh, i want to read this to you so you, you yeah. can better understand it auto repair costs have contributed to 43 to a 43% increase in all states expense in quarter 4. That that's a pretty big increase in that's expense. That's a big increase. Uh, all states PNC property and casualty combined ratio for its auto insurance business rose to 104.3%. Mm. Which means that it spent $104 for every hundred dollars it collected in premiums. By comparison, uh, homeowners' policies are right around eighty-seven percent. Yep. So, an eighty percent, eighty-seven percent—that that's a huge win for an insurance company. Absolutely, that, that uh, they're making big money. The hundred and four—that's out. That's they're, out. They're going to lose. Know, that's, you, you know, you're upside down at that. Uh, yep. Uh, and and it wasn't that way last year. By a long shot, it wasn't that way. Right, but now they're just talking about this one isolated thing, which this again, one if you get myopic and you're looking at this one little thing and building a case of public opinion on this one quarter, uh, you don't see the big picture. Right. And you go, well, yeah, sure, they, they should raise those rates. Yeah, and they, they talk about, again, you know, the, the problem being the OEM parts, you know, <laughs> yeah. prices raising. I haven't seen any real significant... Uh, increases in the parts uh, the problem with the parts is not being able to get them yeah you're interesting, <laughs> it's interesting which you again said, stretches out the rental and yeah. you know you, you just said I haven't seen a huge increase in the parts you are in a very unique position to be able to see the increases or lack thereof yeah in the, in the cost of the parts yeah so you really raise a big issue here it's not the cost of the parts it's the ability to get the parts, which everyone across the country right. is dealing with. Right, and then they, they 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 call out OEM parts here. Right, but every chance they get, they're going to put aftermarket parts on your car. We don't want to talk about that because uh, that makes us look bad. So, Not us, so but them. It, it's the it's the vehicle manufacturer. Yep. Uh, and I guess the rising labor rates. By the way, have has anybody tried to hire anybody to do anything these days? <laughs> if you can get them, you're going to pay them all the friggin' money. And when we pay them all the money as an employer, we're also matching all those in taxes. Yeah. So it, it's, you know, costs go up. They do. They, when they go up in this sector over here, it goes across the line and everything goes up. Yeah, and it's embarrassing what the insurer expects the body shop to adhere to as far as labor rates when I can actually go and get my computer repaired at a higher rate than what the insurer wants the body shop to charge. Yeah, to, and be in, in charge of your safety and to make sure everything is working properly right. and uh, 
you know, it's done the way the, the original manufacturer wants it done and using the tools. I'll tell you what, we just, we have a car here that we read the procedures. We need a special rivet gun for it. Yeah. Or I could just use any rivet gun, but that's not the way we do things here. <laughs> no. I ordered a, another rivet gun that this manufacturer requires to do this because there's a special amount of pounds and special types of rivets that they want you used. A couple hundred bucks? Yeah, a couple hundred bucks over 8000 And this is for a relatively small job, but everything is going up. I, I spent almost $400 in shipping to get it here. Yeah, but that's the, the right way to fix the car. And the insurer has no accommodation for that whatsoever. No, no, no. Because uh, many of the times, the shop will just use any rivet or not even understand it or look at the procedures to understand what's required. Right. They're, they're going to use their engineering degrees, which they don't have. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this, is, this is a cluster. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, and I don't know that I wouldn't say that it's only Allstate but you know Allstate tends to say these things on the call and we have uh, some very good reporters and editors that uh, grab onto those and, and bring them forward so yep. and, and I think that, that you know you need to know and do your homework find the right insurance that I mean these are they're tell games they really the games are. that you're going to lose in. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you're not a benefit of any of this unless you're a shareholder. And the assumption that and there will the be... And then the shareholders are getting ri richer on your right. bad fortune. The assumption that there is absolutely going to be no pushback uh, on this. Shame. Shame, shame. Yeah, they feel as though they can just send their... Uh, because they can't just increase the rates, by the way. They have to go to the Department of Insurance... They have to be justified to the Department of Insurance, yeah. and then the Department of Insurance has to say, yeah, no, we need more proof. Right. You know, there, there's many different things they can say, but uh, they can't just raise the rates yeah. arbitrarily, I don't believe. Do yourself an, a, a favor and uh, read the article. I'll put the link below and educate yourself. Uh, that's really important. Also, share this video with as many of your friends and family that you will. Uh, we, we really appreciate that you share these things. And, and comment below, let us know your circumstance, your situation. Do you have Allstate as uh, your insurer? And are they, in fact, uh, raising your rates? Is it affecting you? And, you know, God forbid if you ever have to go get into uh, a repair situation, we'd like to hear about that story as well. Yeah. Rob, thank you so much for this. I appreciate you. Happy Saturday to you. Happy Saturday to you. Happy Saturday to you. Thanks for tuning in. Yep. Have a blessed week.